Morning, how are you? Oh, not okay. What is it? I need the help. How what is, is the it? Problem? The problem is very big. What is the problem? Which big? Uh, I found my daughter. You see her clothes are torn. She's yes, she's big. putting on short skirts. The browsers are torn. You spoil to this girl. Mm? What is the problem? Father, I need some private space, I explain. But what is it? What? Like that. Her father slept on her, we need her help. Did I hear well? Yes. Who? The father. So you are coming to report your husband? That is the family matter. That is the family matter. You tell me, you tell me. That is the family matter. You are coming to report your husband? Yeah, we are going to report your husband. Let me listen. You go. You go outside. 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 These are the cases the river on the other family matters. Sit there. Yes, sit. He has not the phone. What is it? Sure. You go, 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 go. We don't have we don't have the family matters at police. You go and set out with the LC. We're wasting our time. You go. Mama, good morning. Good morning, Baba. You seem not to go to the problem. Mm -hmm. Oh my dear, mm -hmm. should I go with you to my office so that we can talk about it? Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. Please, let's move. We can talk about it to my office. Sorry. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Afande. My name is Detective Lieutenant of Police, Mugawi Rashida, and you can easily identify me by this name. I'm working with Sexual and Children Related Offenses Department. We sit here at CID headquarters. This is my office, and as, as I was supervising, I noted that you looked not assisted. That's why I brought you to my office so that you can get, I can listen to you and get the assistance. So I'm here to listen. What really happened? I find you have a very big problem. The problem is so big that when we came to report to the station, the officers we found told us that it is not a police case, it is a family matter and they chased us away. That is why you found me there crying with my daughter. Because we feel we need help. Need to be helped. Sorry. I sell tomatoes in the market. So I woke up very early to go and buy them from the trucks. So after today, I woke up as usual. I went to the market to buy tomatoes. I came back like after three hours. Reaching home, I found when my daughter was in tears crying. Her clothes were to another family. You can see they tore even all her clothes. She's all bleeding. So when I tried to find out, she told me that her father had slept on her. That was so big for me. Oh, sorry. I dear. didn't know what to do other than coming to police because I have other daughters, and I'm scared that the father might do the same to the sisters. That's why I came for help, but I've not been helped by the officers I found. So let me get the right officer to help you. What has happened to her is really absurd, and my apologies for the behavior of the police officers. Now that you've come to this office, you're going to get the assistance you need. Now that your daughter is bleeding, she needs urgent medical attention. And that's the first thing we need to do. After that, I'll be able to assist you. Let me call in the officer to help you. So that we can go, we get medical, then after, we shall go with the procedure. Is it okay? May I know the name of your daughter? Yes, she's called Akelo. She's only 13 years old. Akelo, you need urgent medical attention now. And that's why we are going to take you. Is it okay? Are you okay? Mommy, we need Akelo to go for medical. 
That's why we are taking her right now, so that she can be safe. Yeah. Thank you so much. Officer Christine, could you come to my office? It's very, very urgent. Leave whatever you're doing and report to office. Thank you. So we are getting an officer to take her for medical examination that she can be cleaned up. Can I go with my daughter? Now I cannot leave her alone. It's okay, you'll go with her. There's no problem. She needs to be safe with you. Jump. You're welcome. We have uh, a victim we've received. She has been sexually abused by the father. Could you help the mother to go and report a case? Make sure after getting the case, you fill the medical form and you take her for medical examination and report to me after that. So here is the form. Proceed with the mother. You fill the medical. Let me remain with the victim as I take her through. Akel, I want to be your friend. Is it okay if you can remain with can me? I go with the officer to address the case. Yes, Akelo. Is it okay if you can remain with me? You're going to be safe. Is it okay? Come in. Come in. Have a seat there. You have come back with the same woman? Yes. You mean you have chased her? Yes, we referred her to the family oh, mother no. and the LC. The OCCID has instructed we enter her case. This is a grave case. Aggravated. But we have one who saved the snatching of the phone. You had even listened to her, but uh, that is a family matter. You did not know mm. that is why you chased her away, but now they shall stop the OCCID and she has given you. Enter your case now. You enter your case. Now, you enter okay. your case. Even her daughter was dressed the she badly. Was dressing. They are the ones even who seduced men. OCCID is failing us. What? You people, you, you've not learned of these cases. Eh? You enter, the book is there. Enter. But your daughter was putting on a bad day. You say, what is the name of the, the, your, the husband? Mm. So you went to report us to our boss, eh? Okay, now, madam, we are taking your daughter for medical checkup, where the doctor will test me made a trace file in court. Mm. And, we, and this is the form we are going to fill, which the doctor will fill, but I have to go with it and the girl. Yes. Can I accompany my daughter? Yes, please, we shall go with you, please. Thank you, Papa. But you always tell your girl to put on well. Before. Oh. Yes, come in. Yes. Yes, ma'am. You're welcome. Mm. Yes, morning, officer. Doctor. Yes, good morning, doctor. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Mm. I'm coming from Chiguri City. Yes? Okay. Uh, with the victim, please take a seat. With the victim and the mother. Mm. Let, the me, let, me, let, me, let her sit here. Mm -hmm. Madam, come on, sit here. On allegations of defilement mm -hmm. by the father. Mm -hmm. Yes, and these are the forms. Okay. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Okay. Mom, how are you? Okay. Sorry for what happened. Now, uh, I would like to know what's your name, ma? ma? I'm Akelo. Akelo. Okay, Akelo, how old are you? I'm 13 years old. You're 13 years. Do you go to school? Yes. Uh, which school? Namagunga Girls. Namagunga Girls. Okay, briefly tell me what happened. My mama had gone in to the market to sell some tomatoes and other things. Mm -hmm. I came out from the bedroom mm -hmm. and I went into the 
Hey, sorry. Has it ever happened before? Okay. After this happening, what did you do? When my mom came back, I told him, I told her what happened. Okay. Okay. When this happened, did you bathe? I didn't bathe. Okay. Did you fight him? I tried. Okay. Did you get any injuries on your body? Or any bleeding? You are now bleeding. Yes. Okay. Two. Uh, did you change clothing or these are the clothing you are putting on? I didn't change. I'm saying you are putting on the phone blouse. Did he, did, is he the one who who, who? He's the one who Okay. Okay, fine. That is really not good. Now this is a very big offense. Actually it is a capital offense. Uh we have to carry out some investigations that will help the police into to to prosecute DC and your dad who did that thing. Mm. So we are going to do some investigations. We are going to take off some samples, okay? And also I'm going to examine you. Is it okay? Mm. So we have a form that we are going to fill mm. that will ascertain or that will confirm that you have uh, accepted to examine you. And also your mom is going to, to sign this form, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Two, we are going to require your dad to be brought here to test him and see if he has a HIV or not, mm -hmm. because we, there is a drug we can give you called PEP that can prevent you from getting HIV in case your dad had HIV. Okay? Mm -hmm. Since the police officer is here, we shall not start her on PEP soon, but you can bring the uh, you can bring the dad and we test. If it is negative, then she can be safe from PEP. If it's positive, we can start on PEP. So we are going to give you some drugs. They are called emergency contraceptives that can help you not to become pregnant. Is it okay? Yes. Okay, no problem. Now you're going to sign for us this form, okay? Uh, which we will ascertain that you have accepted and maybe the mom will also come. Then you come and we do the examination. Okay, you can come and do Police officer. Yes, doctor. Now with this case we are having we are going to take off some samples. Okay. Uh, this is called the sexual assault kit. We are going to take off some samples. Basically, according to her story, I'm going to take off for uh, a vaginal swab. This will help us for DNA analysis in case the father denies. Okay. Now, officer, I've got uh, these clothing. They have got some blood stains and the other fluids. I'm exhibiting them that you will be able. We shall take them for uh, for analysis eh? from from girl. Okay. Okay. So this series will be broken by girl. Eh? Now these samples also. Um, will be will be taken to girl. These are the donor samples. Okay. okay. And the seals will be opened by by girl. Is it okay? Yes, yeah. Okay. So these are set to handle. Uh, take them to girl. to girl. Mm -hmm. However, ensure chain of us today yes, so that we can get the results. Yes, okay, young yeah, girl. Thank you very much. Uh, you are going to the nurse who is going to, to give you the, the tablets. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah, yeah you'll be okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Mom, after two weeks, bring back the girl and we look at her. Mm -hmm. Then I'll tell you where to bring her again. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions?
You are all welcome. Thank you. And have a seat. Officer, you're welcome. Thank you. Have a seat. You know, these days we take uh, such applications. So sometimes. You're welcome, Mama. Thank you. You're welcome, Doctor. Uh, good morning, officer. Good morning, madam. Good morning, ma'am. Good, good, good morning. How are you? I'm a police officer from CPS Chibuli. Yes, please. I have been sent here with a referral of this victim. Yes, please. For your attention, madam. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. 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 It is unfortunate that the incident happened, but feel free. I'm going to have sessions with you. Everything will be okay. And here it is a special place. And we shall make sure that I take you through the sessions as police continues with their work. Feel free. Thank you, Councillor. We should overcome the trauma because my daughter is very traumatized. Yeah, as a counselor, we shall have to hold a number of sessions. Mm -hmm. I will have to have sessions with, with her mm -hmm. until she gains, she will obviously overcome. Mm -hmm. It is an unfortunate incident, but she will overcome it. Okay, thank you, Councillor. You're welcome. Yes, officers, the case I, we entered here of aggravated defilement, I understand the suspect is in the house still sleeping. So the officer just directed we go and effect arrest and even we are going with the scenes of crime officer to visit the scene. Someone is monitoring the suspect. Can we go? He's the one. He's the. Okay, get up. 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 So we are here to arrest you and we go to police. But she's my daughter. You are under arrest. Can we go? Can you stand up? Hold up. Hold up. We are going to police to record your statement. Hold up. 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 and gender-based violence still exists in Uganda. Victim human rights is part of police training. However, it's not specifically about victims of 
sexual and gender-based violence. The categories of victims at Uganda Police Force include children, men, people with disabilities, and women. Most cases of sexual and gender-based violence are not prioritized at Uganda Police Force. Where other cases are reported in the presence of victims of sexual-based violence are treated as minor and family issues. Where a father defies or sexually abuses his child, it's hard for the mother to report such a case due to fear of retribution, poor customer care at police, procedures that are so long at police, and takes time to recover evidence. There is a need as police to prioritize all cases of sexual and gender-based violence as well as prioritizing victim rights. Thank you.